adding inches. Uh, a, a lot of people on the uh, most development forums, we, some of us who likes the mass monsters, we always say, Wesley, when are you going to start eating beef? Are you still only eating fish this off season? That's true. Uh, I've only been eating fish for. Uh, I didn't know this. Five years now. Well, five, five years without any meat. Yeah. Five years without having meat. Why? Why? What reason? Uh, well, I know this. For example, I'm because I'm quite tall. I weigh a lot. I need to eat a lot of food, and I need to, to digest easily. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people, a lot of bodybuilders, also say when I have my steak meal, that's digesting the least efficient. That's always when you when you have a meat type based meal that digests the least efficient. And when I eat fish, two hours later I'm I'm ready to eat again. So white fish mm. digest really easily for me. And uh by the way, my last name is Vissers and that literally means fisherman. So <laughs> <that's>... <laughs> but one thing, Giles <laughs> you, you had something to say on that. Yeah, I'm not feeling that at all. Not feeling that at all. Because, I mean, from my own perspective and from what I've known, like chicken and beef for off-season, you're better off having... But the thing is, you want faster digestion when you're prepping to, to speed up your metabolism. So, like, fish is a great, great thing to switch to when you get in condition. But if you feel you can put lean mass on with it, I mean, that's... I just think I get bored of eating that much food in the off-season. Free contest, you're okay with it. But he that's does, a lot of food. He doesn't eat for taste. He a lot, eats a lot for of results. Okay. <laughs> Okay, no, I'll, no, let, I'll, I'll, I'll let you off then. No, I just, I just thought I've never heard that before, Wesley. That's the reason. So five years you only been eating fish, but no beef, chicken at all, just because you want it, or? Uh, I honestly, some people hate the taste of fish, and I'm the other way around. Some mm. people, when I go to a steak restaurant, they really look forward to having that steak. Mm. I never really liked that at all. So when I stopped eating meat, uh, and I was for a contest, I switched to fish as well. I never really had the, had the inclination to move back to meat because I didn't miss it at all. And I still made good gains. I felt great. Yeah. And, uh, you know, okay. I actually, uh, uh, like before I went pro a few years before, I actually didn't eat any animal-based products at all just to, just to try it out. Uh, I always experiment with foods. Uh, I used to do that a lot more back in the day. Uh, but I noticed for a contest, you simply need an animal protein source because a plant-based protein, you cannot get that without the added fat or the added carbs. You cannot have dry mm. weight protein in plant-based mm. sources. So I switched to a fish source yeah. for the contest. And ever since then, I never switched back to, okay. uh, to meat or anything. So I always take the fish. So, so I, I come out with salmon, codfish, uh, pollock fish, tuna. For me, that's a lot of options as well. Yeah, yeah. So what were you, uh, without when you're on your plant-based protein, what, pro how, what protein sources were you eating and how much of it? Because uh, you have to get a lot of protein from a lot of food as a plant yeah. source. A lot of nuts and... Uh, yeah, just, yeah. What were you eating? Uh, you always combine different, different foods like uh, beans... And uh, you have a lot of uh, meat substitute products as well in the supermarket. Here, that's pretty big. Okay. Uh, here, they taste actually pretty good. So then you get like uh, uh, those imitation chicken pieces. They are also 20 grams of protein per 100 grams. Very expensive. And, uh, this is a very expensive are... diet he's doing because in Europe, these are, well, you live in Europe too. It's very expensive, this vegan uh, type of substitute the things. It's very expensive. Yeah. That is very expensive. And I noticed as a competitive bodybuilder, that wasn't doable because you have to Correct. eat so much. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, vegetables and stuff, you always eat anyway. So that wasn't the problem. It was the protein that you need to get in your mm -hmm. diet. And that was almost impossible uh, using that diet. But I simply wanted to have experienced it because I also help other people who simply are vegan for other reasons yeah. and still want to be a bodybuilder. So having experienced this just help help them as well. Did you have any stomach or digestion issues? That? Yeah, when you combine rice <laughs> with beans, especially. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so take us through this off season for people who want to try a fish off season diet. What's your? Tell us how much fish and what type of fish for a regular off season day like today. So I have uh, four fish meals in a day. So I eat six times a day. And the first meal will simply be oatmeal. And the last meal would be uh, quark or yogurt with uh, added with uh, whey isolate, for example. Okay. So those two meals are no fish meals. But the other fish meals are, well, three are the same. So it's simply rice, different types of vegetables, and then a white fish. That can be codfish, pollockfish, tuna. Uh, I always try to mix it up and marinate it with different spices and herbs so it always tastes different. Mm. And one meal is always a big salmon steak. 
So that's you know very delicious for me. I uh, yeah. always uh, do it fried in a pan on the skin. Mm. Just tastes very delicious, and it's a very healthy fat source as well. Mm. That's always my day. Mm. So uh, that's every single day I have a salmon meal of 300 grams. So that's pretty uh, substantial. No, 300 grams. Yeah. I, I always notice my muscle look f like with um like either steak or salmon. I could I like I look fuller, more vascular, just from the fats. Yeah. You know, like uh, the carbs, I never got that effect from. But a good if you once you switch to the protein and fats, I feel like it get your skin improves. I said it just your muscle True. looks fuller and, and it looks healthier. Your skin. Yeah, right? yeah. A lot of people think they only need carbs to to fill out, but uh, all the cells have their membranes around them, mm -hmm. and those are comprised of fatty acids. So. If you're not, you know, if you're fat deprived, those will slink down as well. And you will look a lot flatter mm -hmm. and look, uh, you know, feel a lot less healthy and energized mm -hmm. as well. Healthy fats is a must in a bodybuilding diet. Big time. 